God. Why did you wake me up? Just please allow me to sleep. You guys haven't already guessed. That's the name of the game I'm playing today. And as you know, I always try to get some stupid little goofy intro in. I don't know exactly what this game is about, but I have a feeling that a bunch of ghosts are going to try to wake me up, and I'm not happy about that. Welcome to the game. In this game you're playing as Mike, who got insomnia problems. He could not sleep for the, for the last five days. He tries hard to do this, but some things wake him up at midnights. <laughs> Multiple midnights. The doctors say that he has no any damage in his brain part. <laughs> the doctors say that he has no any damage in his brain part. Now Mike believes that his forgotten past causes to this. Okay, a little bit of grammatical problems there, but nothing too severe. Hello? Oh. Why is there something flashing in my face? What the hell is that? That it's very disorienting, okay. Alright, everything seems to be pretty straightforward. Oh, that's what it is. It's that fan. Oh my god. That is not very pleasant to look at. Well, regardless, I'm gonna get into this. What does this say? We were good friends, but you betrayed me. Could you be a little bit more specific? It's a little bit, uh, vague. Especially considering I don't remember that at all. But whatever, let's get out of here. Um. Hello? Could you let me out of here? Okay, my hop, my heart stopped beating. I should be a little bit concerned about that, considering the heart is the only reason I'm alive right now. Okay, and now the door is open. All right, that makes sense. Just opened out of nowhere. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the door to my room. That's locked. Well, stylistically, this is pretty nice. Nothing to complain about quite yet. Ooh, a billiards table. It is a dream of mine to own one of these at some point in my life. I used to have one as a little kid, like a tiny little plastic one that you could put together. But it was nothing compared to this. This is phenomenal. That's a fantastic one. All right. Um, so there's two doors I can go through. L to switch light. Why would I, why would anyone do that? Why would you choose to turn the light off? In this already grainy as hell looking house. Okay. So I'm trapped now. Yeah, I can't see a goddamn thing, so I'm not going to turn off that light. But what if that's what I need to do to progress? Alright, well, there doesn't seem to be anything down here. I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, hello, sir. Um, sir, do you have a key that I can use? I'll take that as a no. Okay. Uh, oh, and the lights are back on. All right, well, what, what does it say? It's been a long time. You must have forgotten what you did. Because life has been pleasant for you until this time. Everything you own is thanks to me. What? Oh! Okay. Okay, going back in here. Going back in here, closing the door, going to sleep. I'm going back to bed. Allow me to sleep is the name of the game. So I would like to sleep okay I can't see a gosh darn thing I'm gonna go back down here that was a little bit spooky wasn't it somebody knocking oh hello oh there we go okay nice milk bread cereal jam fish sticks beer and pork pork what I can't even read what that says Oh well. Alright, seems like we're in the kitchen now. I think that's what this is. Looks like a kitchen. I am not turning off the light. I don't understand why you keep prompting me to do that. It's not gonna happen. Ooh, a flashlight. Okay. Ooh, a key. Okay. Ooh, a can of soda that I can only open up and not drink. Okay. Okay, so I feel a little bit more confident turning off the lights now. Um. Let's go over here. Maybe not. Let's go back upstairs. Is that guy gonna be there again? No, okay, we're good. Can't go in there. Now this is unlocked, very nice. Ooh, okay, another key. What does this say? Court, judge, why did you destroy bodies? 
Miguel, we were working for a mafia who killing evil mafias. Our task was to destroy bodies. Judge, which mafia killed those people and who were your partner? Miguel, I don't want to tell about it. Judge, it would be good for you if you tell who were your partner and for who were you working, otherwise you will never get out from the prison. Miguel, I'd rather stay in prison forever than betray my friends. Well, I, I don't know, man. Depending on the crime, you may not want to take the fall. I understand loyalty is a good thing, but being a criminal is not a good thing. Okay, well, we're getting out of here before I'm further accused of other heinous crimes. And now I'm going in here. Oh, well, hello, sir. You look like you're having a grand old time. Nothing to be worried about. Nothing to be afraid of. What does this say? Can I not? I never forget the day I heard you are the one who reported me to the police. I got a life sentence because of your selfishness. You ruined my life and future. I got a ton of beating in the prison. They made me wear clown clothes and did much more bad things like those. Suicide was the only solution for me to get rid of this hell. I am now sleepy. Time to go to bed. Okay, alright, I'm going to bed. I guess. This seems to be a bit of a convoluted plot. Can I not go to bed? How do I go to bed? I'm trying to go to bed. Uh. Oh, do I have to turn off the light? No? Okay, well, it seems like the only thing that I can do is crouch on the bed. I know you want me to go to sleep, but there's not really... Much I can do to make that happen. What, do I gotta close all the doors or something? Is that what's going on here? You gonna make me do this? You gonna make me spend all this time closing doors? Okay. Sleepy time, sleepy time gorilla museum. What the hell, bro? Why can I not go to sleep? Is this the whole point? The game is called Allow Me to Sleep, so I assume... Uh-oh. Sneeze. <laughs> I assume maybe I'm not allowed to go to sleep. Alright, let's turn off the lights then. Maybe that's what I have to do. Turn off the lights everywhere. Alright, going upstairs now. Hopefully that'll be enough to allow me to go to sleep. No? I cannot? Is this the end of the game? What's going on? Oh, here we go. Press G to go to bed. Okay. Oh, hey, sir. <laughs> okay. Well, I must say, that wasn't too bad. I mean, there was definitely some ambiance going on, and... The design of the place was very good, but the ending just kind of fell flat for me. But you know something, it says here that the game was developed by one person in 10 days. So for that being the case, honestly, this is definitely impressive. To the developer, I would just work on making the ending a little bit more scary, I guess, and then just work on fixing some of the grammatical errors. But other than that, this was pretty good. It was a pretty good game. It doesn't really do anything very much unique from other horror games, but it does it in a way that feels good to play, which is very important. Anyway, if you guys want to try the game out for yourselves, I'll leave a link down below in the description for you. But that's going to do it for me here today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you did, and please feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video down below as well. And if you did happen to enjoy and you want to catch a new video every single single day I would love it if you hit that subscribe button for me thanks again for watching everyone and I can't wait to see you all in the next video take it easy